how to add two numbers in assembly. Now seeing as you're watching this video, you're probably familiar with this. Um, if not, it basically just means assign the value of 2 to the variable x. Now you should also be familiar with this, x plus 2, which equals 2 plus 2, which equals, um, yeah, actually equals 4. Now let's see how these principles work with assembly language. Assembly language works directly with the CPU. And so let's imagine that this box is inside the CPU. This box represents the registers, and each small section represents an individual register. We have EX, EBX, ECX, and EDX. These registers are the CPU's own quick access memory storage. So now let's assign the value of 2 to the variable x, but this time in assembly language. Whoa, okay, so, so what happened there? Well, all we did is use the instruction move EX2, and that just means move the value of 2, in this case Lego bricks, to the register EX, and now we can see that EX has two Lego bricks in it. Now, let's see how we add 2 to X, but again, in assembly language. This time, we just use the instruction add EX2. So, it's the same as the previous instruction, but simply using the word add. So, instead of replacing the value of EX, 2 is instead added, which gives us, yeah, no, it, it, yeah, it's 4 again. So the values of registers can be written in a couple of different formats. We have decimal, binary, and hexadecimal. And here we can see 8 written in these three different formats. So now let's go and add the decimal value of 8 to our register, EAX. As we saw before, we can do this with the instruction add EAX 8. And this just means add the value 8 to the pre existing value of our register, EAX. Now the value of our register, EAX, is 12. And we can see this written in our three different formats. Decimal we have 12, in binary we have 1100, and in hex we have C. It can be a good idea to familiarize yourself with these number formats as they come up often when dealing with registers and assembly language. So here we have a basic assembly language program that adds two numbers together. On the left we have the source code, and on the right we have a representation of the values of the register EAX. You may recognize some of the instructions in the code section here. Before we assign any value to our register EAX, it already has an auto-assigned random value by the computer. That's why we will first want to move a value into it before we do any addition on it. So once we do the instruction move EAX2, we can see that the value of the register changes from that garbage value to the value 2. Now that we have the value of 2 in our register EAX, we now want to add 2 to it. And we do this using the instruction add EAX2. And this then updates the value of the register to 4, as we can see here. Now the next line that we discussed in our previous example is add EAX8, which again means add the value of 8 to our register EAX. So now the value of our register will change from 4 to 12, or in hexadecimal, C. And that's all there is to adding numbers in assembly language. As you can see, there are a couple of other different sections in the source code which we haven't addressed, but most of those include adding hardware or operating specific data. There is also a data section where we can declare variables and a code section where we run our main instructions such as move or add. You'll find out more about these sections once you start writing and running assembly language programs. Thanks for watching.